lightweight division. This fight is for the Akuma Lightweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting on the blue corner, representing hybrid and arms, weighing in at 70.2 kg. It's from the bomb row. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent, fighting. Out of the red corner, representing Sioko, weighing at 70.2 kgs. He is the reigning and defending the Cuban lightweight champion. It's Jake Main event time here at Akuma, and Jake Gilpin, the champion in the black trunks. Squaring off against Dom the Bomb Rhodes. Four and one Dom, three knockouts, one submission, all in the first couple of rounds. A dangerous fighter. And Andrew, we've watched Jake Hilton fight so many times and he's looked sensational in a lot of his fights, hasn't he? Especially, oh, that was the wee yawn that came out there. Nearly past my bedtime, uh, especially at, as the Striker that's able to get this in and out sort of range, going mm. very loose on his feet, light on his feet even, going back and forth. Yeah, he won the belt here last year at Akuma against Marek Soup. Wins over Alex Fagan, Aaron Boyle. He beat Dean Maguire last month in a brilliant three-round war. He won a split decision. and Even fights he's lost in, he's looked excellent, you know. And uh, he's proved, uh, for me, one of the more entertaining and technical amateurs in the country. Do you know what? He's on the back of Dom Rhodes already, but the Wizard proving a problem, just stuffing the, that entry he has to the rear naked choke. Not too dissimilar to the clip you were showing me from that Road to UFC thing last night where there was a throw into an attempted back take. Well, that was a secured back take and choke, but this could be an arm bar here on, uh, on Dom's right arm if Gilpin can cut an angle strong enough here. I just feel that his hands are connected, focusing on the wrong thing. They're trying to kill the posture instead of trying to keep the arm that's going to get arm barred. Yeah, the foot and the hip is giveaway that he's trying to turn the angle. And you like, know what, yeah. Andrew? Oh, he was close there. I think the elbow might be in an okay position, is it? Yeah. But yeah, it's just clear the hip line. He may end up trying to swap for the other arm now if he can, or go for a triangle. Yeah, and there he, he must be listening to you. And you know what? My God. Sometimes I wonder, is this a gift? But I think it's also just luck. Even a broken clock, Andrew. <laughs> I am delirious. We've been here for a long time now, folks. We've been commentating on fights since 4 p.m. It's been a marathon Seven tonight. hours and 47 minutes. And you know what? Myself and Dave Farrell talked a lot of fights on the two-hour drive down too. So. And you'll talk a lot more on the two-hour drive home. <laughs> Could be a good test here for Dom as well, especially going against someone with such more experience, experience at the amateur level. As well. This is Jake Gilman's 12th fight in just a couple of years really as well. He's come out of nowhere and just been in there with anyone and everyone in and around his weight class. Yeah, he may have he may have debuted on one of the first year shows. Yeah, and he's fought on that promotion that. a lot, which we obviously yeah. fought all the fights on. We, we've, we've, we've had a really good view of his development. Dominic Rhodes, 4-1, and one, like I said, his only defeat coming via Kimura in the third round against Dimitru Pintele. No shame in that, that Pintele kid is uh, a handful if ever there was one. Well, the kind headset of on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not plugged into anything. It's like when you give your younger brother the PlayStation pad that's not plugged into anything and let him think that he's playing <laughs> the game. But the venue is slick, the atmosphere that we got from it earlier on. It's a minor thing here, but as someone who went to a lot of the Akumas, the early ones, in a building that could only be described as a severe fire hazard with the sloped wooden roof uh, so close to the cage. This is, it's great that they've been able to replicate the atmospheres that they've been known for over the years. Yeah, it's been a, an absolute banger of a card. Lots of great fights, a few outstanding finishes. Jake Gilpin just trying to stay elusive here and 
Make Dominic Rhodes work. Rhodes is in on that single. Switching now to the ankle pick on the far side. It was a great job. Really seen a really good level of in the amateur fights here tonight as well. I've been so, so impressed with some performances. These two guys, a couple of the more impressive ones I've watched over the last couple of years too. And oh, he's gonna try knee bar him from here. He is, isn't he? He's extending the hips here. He's, he's he, he can, because we can see his knee, he's okay. You know, he's just a bit too low on it. Yeah. There's no like, there's no progression. Uh, able to happen from here because he's backed up against the cage. He might get a little closer here. If he can suck him out from the bottom of the cage like this, that's going to help. But as a, as a move, that knee bar attack mm. is actually oh, incredibly brutal. legitimate. Yeah. Good, Good guard leave. recovery by Gilpin. Doesn't have the guillotine though. Climbing, he's climbing again. He's so threatening off his back, and again we're seeing this position he went for in the first round where he cuts the angle for the armbar. This is a bit more, a bit more assured and a bit deeper. If he can get some extension now. So we've been uh, doing this position as well. Up uh, this week, up on the right leg is helping a lot here. That needs to come back up for me. Otherwise, this is what happens. Sitting on him like this, not a bad alternative. I'd like the feet to get unhooked from the cage there. Aaron Wallace is not seeing it here, which is fair enough. He's glued, his eyes are glued to the arm, yeah, right, you know what I mean? Which is right enough, but yeah, he's he's out. Out. Uh, he doesn't do That man doesn't miss. Uh, oh, one of the best in the business. Crossing, this is nice. Now come back up. Like I feel that it's just here for Gilpin. It's definitely here. Has to be careful where he punches here. He's just always a threat for a, a guy who's such an efficient striker. He's just a threat off his back. I mean, we saw him almost pull off a boogie choke, didn't we, in a fight earlier yeah, this year? We did indeed. And if this had been more, if that sequence had been in the center of the cage yeah. and backing him to finish it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, that little cut of the angle, the little cut of the angle, excuse me as I demonstrate it for you here, Brennan. Look, that little cut of the angle do you know uh, that's what makes the difference there and the cut of the angle worked really well but the cage is what blocks it so do you know put that out in the in the middle of the mat then I think that's the thing together Can Stefan's I? already got the camera off me mid promo but that's all good consistently above average on all good Spotify uh, po podcast platforms Big shots here, Jake Gilpin trying to assert his authority on round number three. Third and final round of a title fight that he may well be two rounds up in. advice coming from the crowd but Jake Gilpin yeah. just knows ready what he's doing here and he's trying to just elevate his opponent and break those grips first of all it was a tremendous insult but I just don't know if it was being shouted by a person who fought earlier on or not is it directly over our shoulder or is it to our right it's I behind us in the crowd yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a civilian is it oh, <laughs> never mind <them>. uh, <laughs> booze fueled civilian I'd repeat it, no problem. <laughs> Phil will be back from holidays by the time the next one's on, so I don't mind repeating it. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get another armbar attempt, and I fancy this one. You see, as I said earlier on, a gift and a curse. <laughs> Sometimes you get it close, other times you're painfully wrong. Grappling wise, this is the best. Uh, this is the best round that Dominic could have had. Yeah, absolutely. It's the best he's had so far. It's the best we could have expected from here as well. 
why that's a good question actually I, d I don't know if it's coming out on the stream or not but we'll uh, ask him if we have a word afterwards good recovery here by Gilpin and he might be in on a takedown attempt it's an awkward position really for Gilpin isn't it he's buried under there and I think it his is. left arm is trapped but it's his leg actually that yeah, throws has. they both have the exact same type of position you yeah. know Ooh, scramble there from Rhodes, and there was almost a threat of an armbar too. This is going to sound like a very pointless comparison. If you put Gilpin in the position that Rhodes just had, that's an armbar finish. Oh, I think so, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean yeah. by that, what we've seen of him? Now this could be a finish for Gilpin. He has about 30 seconds left, and this can win the round for him. Damage-wise, this can absolutely win the round for him, especially if we get a submission chance. However, notice the Gilpin fan is not shouting the same things at Gilpin as he was shouting as, a, as an opponent. A really grappling heavy performance, both by his efficient strikers, yeah. but today, and all about the grappling. I feel Gilpin's gonna retain the title. Yeah. He had a couple of legitimate submission attempts throughout the course of the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have reached their decision and their winner by unanimous decision. And the new, the killer.